I am rocking the cat apparel with my t-shirt and my cat mug. This is from Target a while ago. And this is a local Savannah shop. It just says Savannah, Georgia on it. I don't know, I got it because of the cats. It's so cute, you guys. <laughs> we are expecting Hurricane Ian later today and tomorrow passing through. It's just like a lot of wind and rain. So if you hear howling, the howling has begun. The whistling of the wind through the trees. So <laughs> if you hear that, that's what that noise is. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa if you're new here and for today's video we are going to do my September favorites. I like doing favorite videos because I like to just share the plants that I have been loving lately and plants that I have just kind of cherished this month and have either constantly looked at. I feel like I give maybe more care to these certain plants, plants that I am like looking forward to the growth like in the coming months. So I'm gonna show you some plants that I just absolutely love right now and I may have talked about them in previous favorite videos and if that's the case, it just goes to show you how much I love these plants. I don't know how many plants I want to show you today, so we will see. I have a couple right here already that I'm going to show and a few others that I'm already thinking about. I'll show you my moss pole area at the end because I do have some favorites out of those plants as well and I think it'll be easier showing you guys where they're at than trying to drag these poles over here where this camera is. So let's get started. I'm like feeling warm and cozy. It's chilly, it's windy, it's like 60s out. Grab a drink or a snack and let's go over some of my plant favorites. Okay, up first is going to be my hybrid, my Crystallinum and my Magnificum. It is still my favorite anthurium right now and I have a surprise you guys. It is giving me a new leaf and an inflorescence. I'm not sure if it has any more growth right now coming in. It may surprise me, but you guys, I thought this leaf was huge. And look at this leaf coming in. It is gonna be so much bigger. It's already growing in size significantly. After this video, I am going to be watering my anthuriums because they are thirsty. It is that midweek time. And this plant has not given me an inflorescence yet, which I'm really excited to have one. I don't know if I could pollinate this plant. I really don't know too much about anthurium pollination because I haven't collected it yet. The inflorescences that I've had, they've either not had enough pollen to collect or they've dried up. So I am just waiting for some pollen and then I'm going to store and collect it and pollinate some of my anthurium. But I love this anthurium. I just love the leaf shape, the size. It is growing beautifully for me. I have a couple baby leaves left. One of the other baby leaves did yellow so I cut that one off and I love it. I just love how big this anthurium is. I just love it so much. <laughs> if you don't know or if you haven't seen my previous videos where I imported plants, a lot of those plants are actually behind me. They are like here and I broke out my humidifier so it is going off and on. But I think the plant that I'm most looking forward to out of all the imports is going to be this one here. This is the Escaletto, and you guys know I recently potted these up. I put it in a large grow pole by Thickly, and these are available now this size, and it's a pretty sturdy pole. And I just cannot wait for these leaves to come in. <laughs> this is the one that had been yellowing, and this one is pretty stable, and then it's got two more leaves up top, and then this is the lead leaf here. And I'm not expecting a new growth anytime soon. I feel like if it did give me a growth, I would be surprised. It's just gonna take some time to situate in the pot and grow. And I can already show you guys there's new roots. Ooh. So once it kind of finds a home in this pot and stabilizes, it's going to really take off and start pushing growth. And it's gonna be able to start climbing immediately with this pole. I just find it's a lot easier to keep these moist. They aren't drying out as fast being in my environment. And I love that they're clear and I can add moss to them. I probably could have only added moss to like here, you know, and then I'll add the moss as the plant climbs. They're stackable, I can add to them. They're not super bulky, I don't think. This is a pretty large grow pole. I do love these for my space because my regular ones dry so, so fast and I'm in love with them, so. But this import I have babied. I have babied all of my imports over the past month and I checked on them every day. This one took off the most as far as the roots 
you know, growing and everything. And I just feel like this one is going to just be so beautiful and such an amazing plant once it gets large. I've already seen like some pretty large leaves of this plant on Instagram and I'm obsessed, you guys. I love Adansonii, my Monstera Adansonii, but this one, I, I love it. I cannot wait for this plant to grow. <laughs> The next plant that I showed in a previous favorites video, it's still my favorite because this plant had gone through and been through such a journey with me that I feel like I'm just so happy to see it growing and so happy that it beat thrips. And I honestly cannot wait to watch this plant crawl and just get these big fluffy pillowy leaves. This is another new leaf since that favorite video and it put out this leaf after thrips and it already is sized up pretty well a little bit. And I also have another baby node in here, which is doing okay. And yeah, a lot of these leaves were attacked by thrips, like I was saying in my last video, but it's still my favorite. I just love this new leaf. It has another growth point. And I'm just really happy to see that it's finally happy in my care. I struggle with this plant so much and to see this plant growing, beautifully and happy for me is just, I don't know. I just keep looking at it every day and staring at it. I just love the leaves and the veining. They're just beautiful. Like, look at that leaf. I am literally obsessed. This is one of my favorite leaves right now. So <laughs> I do think they're a pretty difficult plant. In my opinion, I have struggled with them, especially if you are starting it small or you've had like issues with yours. It took a while for this plant to grow and get like this. So I just personally have like a just special bond with this plant. I'm just really happy to see it happy and it makes me just proud, I guess, but definitely still one of my favorites. Next up is another Monstera. It is growing beautifully. I have lots of new leaves coming back in. This one is a new leaf. This one up here is a new leaf. This one is a new leaf. I actually have a new vine, this one that is growing. So I am gonna get this plant, I believe, staked on a thickly pole. I think I want this plant to climb sooner than later before it starts to give me runners because these plants, did I say this was a Monstera obliqua? I don't know if I said that. This plant is notorious for giving runners and a runner is basically like a vine and a node and a vine and a node where it doesn't grow a leaf. And if it doesn't have support, some plants will throw those runners out until they like reach for something where they can climb onto. And this plant is notorious for that. And I do not want this to happen with this plant. So I am gonna be getting this put on a thickly pole sooner than later. It was down to one leaf when I got this from Botanica's and to see this many leaves, this was the original leaf left. To see like this many leaves in my care and to see this plant come back, I'm just overall just very happy and excited. I love the plants that have like the holes in the leaves. I just think they're so cool. And I love the overall shape and everything with this one. I have been keeping it moderately, not, I wouldn't say moderately moist. I water this plant almost twice a week and it's in a pretty small pot. You know, I was waiting for the roots to get established. It's probably getting ready to be thirsty again, so. I am gonna be repotting that and watering it probably soon. And I moved it away from my grow light. So it was on this shelf, you guys can't see, where it had the marina lights. It was probably like this far from the plant. And I felt that, I don't know, I felt like the light was a little too strong for it. I had a little bit of discoloration on a couple leaves. I don't know if that was from the light or just letting it get maybe too dry. I'm not really sure, I'm kinda, kind of still working with this plant and figuring out, you know, the proper care, but it seems overall happy. So I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing and I think it would really appreciate getting a pole sooner than later so this plant can start climbing. I don't know if you guys know about my Florida Beauty that reverted, I chopped it back. Every single new leaf has come in green on pretty much all of the extra plants that I end up having from chopping. Everything has been green so far, so I'm pretty, Pretty sure I'm not gonna have any more variegation come back, which is kind of sad. I did get a new beauty from Root Greenhouse, you know, through the imports, which I'm really excited about, but the newest leaf is all green. 
which makes me think that I'm probably gonna have another reverting Florida beauty. So maybe down the road at some point in my future, I will get and splurge on a beauty that has beautiful variegation like I had hoped. I love yellow variegation. I just think there's something beautiful about the yellow. I love my Aria. I love all the like yellow variegated plants. This next plant I actually grew from a node. I had this plant, I grew this plant to have like five or six leaves. I got it as like a pretty decent sized cutting or like plant, it had three leaves. And I ended up chopping it to sell a cutting. I regret chopping so many of my plants. I honestly don't know what I was thinking. It was a period of time where I purged some plants, sold some cuttings and, you know, plants sometimes don't grow back that well after you chop them. So sometimes it's best to leave them alone and not chop them. I still chop a lot of my plants and sometimes they do grow back better. It really just depends, but I do regret chopping some plants. So if you're hesitant on whether or not to chop a plant back, my advice is to don't chop it right away. Think on it, let it grow a couple more leaves and then make your decision because you don't want to regret it down the road. Like I, I regretted chopping so many of my plants. So that's kind of the backstory. So I had, I had chopped this plant. I still have the original of this plant and it's, the original one isn't growing as well, but this, thankfully I saved a node and I grew this from a wet stick. And this is my Florida ghost. This is the baby one. Look at how like ghosty those leaves are. Look at how beautiful. That's the newest one here. It's more minty in a way. So this one is growing back and I'm probably gonna get this one on a thickly pole as well because it is starting to shoot out aerials and I want to get this plant supported. And it's in a baby two inch um, grower's pot. So I'll probably get him upsized here soon, but it is growing for me slowly. And I loved my Florida ghost. Again, just like my Florida beauty. I just love the leaves. I love the shape, the color and everything. So I can't wait for this one to grow back for me. It was definitely a plant that I regretted chopping. So I have him in my cute little cat ghost, a vampire, you know, Florida ghost and a vampire cat. How cute is that? I got this at Target in the dollar section for like $3. It is so cute. I can't wait to watch this plant come back for me. I have several alocasias that are growing really well for me right now. I moved all my alocasias out of my cabinet. So they are all out here in my plant room and they are growing and pushing new leaves. They're very happy, but I'm only gonna show you one alocasia because it is just growing so well for me. And this is my Regal Shields and it does have another new leaf. I did think I featured this in my last video, but I just wanted to show it again because like the leaf size is pretty big on this plant and it's pushing new growth like crazy. And I think it's just really happy. I had repotted it on my Instagram and I just think it really appreciated that repot so much. It has an extra corm that I grew and I added in a while ago. And so it has four leaves from that baby corm. And then this is like the main plant. So this is why it looks pretty full because I did add the extra corm in. And I hope, I think I did find some corms when I repotted this one. So we'll see if I can get any more to grow. I will definitely be adding them back in here. And you can kind of see some roots there coiling on the bottom since I did that repot. This new leaf here is gonna be beautiful. The underside of these leaves, the backside is absolutely gorgeous, especially in the light. It reminds me of philodendron micans, like that red toned color and the like lime, the lime green veining, it is just so beautiful. So if you can get your hands on a Regal Shield, I highly recommend this alocasia. I don't find it to be a picky alocasia. And I saw these popping up at my local big box store, like huge plants for only $20, which is crazy. If I didn't have this one, I definitely would have bought like a more mature one. But yes, I love how it's growing back in for me. I love this plant. And yeah, I'm so excited to hopefully, hopefully it does okay this winter. I'm hoping all of my plants do okay this winter, but I think as long as I can keep it happy and growing, it'll grow beautifully for me. I'm gonna have to find a separate spot for it soon because it is getting a little too large for the shelf that I have it on. I also want to show this silver band Maranta again because this is definitely one of my favorite plant leaves the beautiful colors. I did show this one. So this kind of is a repeat 
Do you see that color on that leaf? I just can't describe to you how beautiful this plant is. And it's growing so well for me. I upsized it and it was plant mail. It was pretty small and it's been really, really happy in my care. It's been flowering for me. And look at all those new growth spikes coming in. I definitely love this Maranta and I find it to be a pretty easy care Maranta. It's not too finicky. I just can't get over the leaves on this plant. It's just absolutely stunning and I love Marantas, but this is definitely my favorite Maranta. And then I think this is gonna be the last plant I'm going to show and then I'll take you over to look at my moss pole corner because I have several favorites that are, I actually have a couple moss pole corners, but I'm gonna take you to my main corner behind me, like over there, and I'll show you some of those plants because they've been my absolute favorite this month. And I love my moss poles, so I'll just like take you over there to show you like the growth update and progress of those. And I think they'll be my favorites every month. <laughs> but this one I wanna show you is my variegated burl marks, my philodendron. And you guys, the overall sheer size of this plant, like look at this thing. I don't have it supported yet. I probably will. There's several, several vines in this pot. And I do have one that is growing green. So one vine is sort of reverting and although the same vine is giving me variegation so it's weird I have like multiple green leaves coming in and then I have multiple new variegated leaves coming in so it's keeping a good mixture this plant does revert a lot and I want to show you this new leaf because this is my favorite one that it just put out the color on that one do you see that look at how gorgeous that is so beautiful and I thought there was another one I would say this one up here is very beautiful too, this one. I just love the yellow. I love the overall color. I have some that are like lime green. So it's very beautiful. This one looks more yellowy. I don't know. I love this one. It's pretty easy care. I like this way better than the regular green version. I had the regular green version and I got rid of it because this one is growing green too and it kind of reverts easily. So I didn't want to keep the regular green when I can have like a green and variegated one. So yeah, I'll probably get it staked up at some point and go from there. But yeah, it is beautiful. I love the leaves and the color. Yeah, it's just definitely one of my favorite plants and I'm just really excited to see it grow more and get bigger. I'm excited to get it staked and kind of how it's gonna look like even like a year from now. It's already this big, so. <laughs> So yeah, we'll see how it goes with this one. I show my Aria a lot, so I didn't want to talk about this plant, but yeah, this is the newest leaf and it's always, this is my favorite plant and it's always going to be my favorite. So I just wanted to show you that newest leaf coming in. This has the yellow variegation. It is so gorgeous. This is the new leaf since having thrips and it's upsized very nicely. So I just wanted to include that one. And let me take you to this moss pole corner. This is one of mine. And you guys, so many of these plants, like literally all these plants are my favorite. I just love the way they're growing for me. I'm excited for the new growth. They're sizing up nicely. I'm going to be extending my Monstera Celtipicana soon. My Cebu Blue is growing in more. This is the new leaf on my Adansonii pole. And it is sizing up quite nicely since being chopped. It's given me, I think, these four leaves and it does have a new one. And there are two other vines. They're growing up and they're giving me a little bit of growth, but they haven't like sized up too much yet since the chop. But I'm just really excited to see that um, new leaf coming in. Of course, my micans is growing like crazy. And this is probably one of my favorites just because of the overall sheer size of this Marble Queen. Like this is my hand, you guys. That new leaf is gonna be huge. The overall sheer size of this leaf I am just obsessed with it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Definitely one that I keep staring at. I love like this section. These two leaves came in kind of green, so I don't really care for those too much, but like this and up is just absolutely gorgeous. And the other vines are growing in. They're kind of slowly getting up past that halfway point. And so as soon as they kind of grow a little bit more, I will be doing a chop and extend on that one. And of course my Glorious and Splendid, I love. And my Epipremnum 
Panatum albo is growing slowly. I just love all these plants. They're my favorite every month, but I just wanted to show you kind of the progress. I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites with me. I obviously have a lot more favorites, but I think those are some of the ones that have really stood out the most to me this month. And I love several others that I didn't show and I obviously just can't show them all for this video. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye.